Go. This chapter considers a variety of possible explanations for the significant drop in crime and crime rates that occurred in the 1990s. Based on articles that appeared in the country's largest newspapers, the authors compile a list of the leading, commonly offered explanations. The next step is to systematically examine each explanation and consider whether available data supports the explanation. What the authors, in fact, demonstrate is, is that in all the three cases, increased reliance on prisons, increased number of police, and changes in illegal drug markets, correlation was erroneously interpreted, interpreted as causation, and in some cases, the correlation wasn't even that strong. The last few pages of the chapter focus on an explanation of the crime drought that had not been addressed until much more recently, the effect of legalized abortion. The discussion summarizes the results of a study conducted by Donahue and Levitt that appeared in the Quarterly Journal of Economics in 2001. The upshot of that analysis is that approximately one half of the drop in crime witnessed in the 1990s is attributable to the legalization of abortion in 1973. This conclusion is based on the statistical and economic, the analysis that focuses on, among other things, the, char the characteristics of criminals, the increase in the number of abortions following its legalization, and the characteristics of those women most likely to get an abortion. Oh look, it's the honor roll for all the kids in high school. How cute. There's so many of them. Hmm. Look, they're doing it all. Leah Williams, look at her. Oh, Valedictorian, wow. it says weird. They graduate soon. This is her fourth year on honor roll.